Let me try with this. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, no. Your egg fell. Fell and broke. Oh, I don't think I like falling very much. Actually, falling can be pretty fun. Some <laughs> times. <laughs> well then, curiosity? Yes, Captain Zoo. Let's find out about falling. Falling can be fun. If you are a cat. When cats fall, they usually land on their feet. Watch. If you push one domino, they all fall down. Almost all. Young humans fall over quite a lot. And they get up again. Sometimes young humans fall down on purpose. That tower looks like it's going to fall over. It's staying up. No, it's falling down. Ooh, so falling can sometimes be fun. <laughs> But not for my egg. Hmm. If only there was a way to make an egg fall slower and not break. There is, Zoom. There is? Let me show you. Although we can't see it, air can actually be very pushy. When something is falling, tiny air molecules slow it down by pushing against it. And that pushing is called air resistance. But an egg's shape means there's not enough air resistance to slow it down that much. But it would be very different if the egg had... A parachute! <laughs> What's a parachute? A parachute has a bigger and wider shape than the egg, so there's a lot more to push against. So there's more air resistance, and that slows its fall. An egg with a parachute would have a much softer landing. Yay! <laughs> An egg with a parachute. That would be funny. <laughs> oh, I would love to see a parachute for an egg. Curiosity. Search for some curious young humans, please. Certainly, Captain Zoo. Located Curious Young Humans, John and Sophia. Okay then, Curiosity Crew, let's get going. Or should I say, experiment? <laughs> okay, let's get started. John and Sophia are going to try and make a parachute that can slow down a falling egg so it doesn't break. First, they need to cut this plastic sheet into a circle. Let's open it. Look, it's so big and round. Yes, and that should create lots of air resistance. Yeah. Now they're using string to attach a cup to the plastic circle. Yay, we made a parachute. Let's put an egg inside. Time to test their parachute. <gasps> oh dear, I'm afraid to look. It's a very long way down. I hope the egg survives. <sighs> Three, two, one, go! go! It's okay. Mm. Yay, yay, it's not broken! Yay! yay. Yes! Oh. It's not broken! Egg And all because having a parachute meant there was enough air resistance to slow down its fall. Thanks, John and Sophia. Excellent work, guys. <laughs> Do 
doing, Amy? I'm sucking the air out of this container soon. When I pull back on this syringe, most of the air around the marshmallow in the container is getting sucked out. But the marshmallow is full of tiny bubbles, which then grow in size. And then the marshmallow gets bigger. Now watch what happens when I let the air back in. <laughs> it's shrinking! Yes, Sue. When I let the air back into the container, it pushed the marshmallow back to its original size. Oh, <laughs> air really is very pushy. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's the pushiest thing we could do with air. Hey, Sue. What would you say if I told you air is push enough to squash this heavy oil drum? Uh, I would say, are you serious, Mark? Could air really squash that drum? Well, Zoom, let's find out. Float or fly. Okay, Zoom, we're going to try and squash this drum using nothing but air. First, I'll put a little bit of water into this drum. Next, I'm gonna place the drum on this gas burner here to heat up the water. Then, we wait. Look! There's steam coming out. That's right, Zoom. The water in the drum is very hot now. And so is the air inside it. When air heats up, it spreads out. And now some of that hot air is escaping out of the hole in the top of the drum. Right, ear protectors on. Okay, Mark, ready. Now we're gonna put a cap on the drum so that no more air can get in or out. I'm wearing my heat-proof gloves because it's very hot. It's very what? No, I said it's very hot. Oh. Now, from very hot to very cold, I'm gonna put the drum into this paddling pool full of ice water. Now we need to make it even cooler with more ice. the tiny molecules it's made of move closer together. And this makes the air on the outside push on the drum from all around it. What's going to happen? The more the air inside the barrel cools down, the more the air outside pushes on it. Oh, this is exciting! I told you, air can be really pushy. why some things fall faster than some other things. Zoom, did you know that there are parachutes for people too? Human-sized parachutes? They would be enormous. I would love to see that. Well then, we need to find some skydivers. Now that sounds exciting. Curiosity, set course for skydivers. Setting course for skydivers. Okay, Curiosity, let's zoom around. Uh-oh. Mark, Zoom, we're all out of brain power. Can't go anywhere without that. Mm. I wonder how it happened. Eh, uh, guys. Yes, yes Zoom. Zoom. egg you see and but boiling an egg only takes three or four hours i know minutes zoom oh yes minutes not hours 
so I must have used up all that power. I'm sorry. Well then, we'd better head to the brain power station. Parachute. Yes, you got it! Yay. Yay! And look, you're already making more brain power. Sophia, here's your question. Objects fall slower if they experience more what? Air resistance, air fresheners, or air bubbles? Air resistance. Correct! Right answer! Yay! Bye, Zoom. Bye, Curiosity. Right, Zoom. Now it's time to go on our trip. Yeah. OK, Curiosity. Let's zoom around. look like they're flying, Zoom, but they're actually falling. So that's why it's called skydiving. There they go! Oh, that skydiver is all on his own. And she's having great fun, like an acrobat in the sky. Hey, Zoom, here's a fantastic skydiving fact. A skydiver can fall through the air 200 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as a sports car. Wow. But won't they hurt themselves when they land? No, Zoom, because they have one of these. Ta-da! Oh, a parachute, of course. And now that their parachutes are open, the skydivers are falling much more slowly. Oh, is that because of air resistance slowing them down? It sure is, Zoom. Ah. <laughs> and then they land safely. Oh, parachutes are great. They sure are, Zoom. But now it's getting late. I think it's time for tea. Goodbye, skydivers. Goodbye, parachutes. OK, Curiosity. Let's zoom around. Some help. 